Hello students, welcome to all in our channel, DR Physica. In today's video lecture, I am going to discuss about human digestive system with the 3D animation. So watch this video till the end. Let's start. We take in food through the mouth, digest and utilize it. The food that we eat has to be converted into nutrients so that each cell of our body can use it in the required form. Have you ever wondered what happens to the food inside the body? Let us learn about this journey of food inside the human body. The food passes through a continuous canal which begins at the buccal cavity and ends at the anus. The canal can be divided into various compartments. The inner walls of the stomach and small intestine and the various glands associated with the canal such as the salivary glands. The liver and the pancreas secretes digestive juices. The digestive juices convert complex substances of food into simpler ones. The digestive tract and the associated glands together constitute the digestive system. Now let us know what happens to the food in the different parts of the digestive tract. Food is taken into the body through the mouth. The process of taking food into the body it's called injection the food is crushed in mouth with our teeth a saliva secreted by the salivary gland which makes the food soft and saliva contains an enzyme called the salivary amylase that breaks down starch which is complex molecules to give simple sugar the food is mixed thoroughly with the saliva and move in the buccal cavity by a muscular tongue while chewing. The swallowed food passes into the food pipe or esophagus. The food pipe runs along the neck and the chest. The stomach is a thick walled bag. It's a shape like a flat J. And it is the widest part of the alimentary canal. It receives the food from the food pipe at one end and open into the small intestine at the other end. Let us learn about the digestion in stomach. The tongue possesses the further reach the pharynx located in the throat and then passes to esophagus. Esophagus is a long muscular tube extending from the pharynx and behind the stick here to the stomach. The food at this stage called as a bowl is the food travel permits a series of contraction. It's called the peristalsis and reaches the stomach. A stomach has a layer of a muscular walls that mix the food in the liquid inside the stomach such as a hydrochloric acid. Now let us learn about the digestion in small intestine. Pepsin enzyme converts in into the thick paste called chyme from stomach food travels via sphincter muscles to duodenum which is part of the small intestine. And finally food enters the small intestine. Small intestine is a major site of a food absorption. It is a long coil organ that digests protein, fats and carbohydrates with the help of the different enzymes. The liver releases bile into the small intestine that helps in a breakdown of fats. Pancreas releases an enzyme containing the pancreatic juice into the small intestine. These enzymes help to digest carbohydrates, fats and proteins. 
The unabsorbed food called rugi is sent to the large intestine as a waste material. The large intestine also has a villi on its walls. The large intestine is a wider and a shorter than small intestine. It is about 1.5 meter in length. Its a function is to absorb the water and some salt from the undigested food and material. And finally, it's a expelled from the body through the anus. So the food we eat goes to many internal organs to form a essential nutrients. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. See you in the next video lecture.